<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shy, Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 141. We got a trio in the building. On to, to the left, left, left. We got Needy in the building. What's what good? Up, the one and only. Yeah, in the middle, we got uh, Tanisha P. What's up, y'all? Then right by me, we got motherfucker Tane Kelly. What's up? Gang, what, uh, Tane Gang? Tane Gang. All okay. that good stuff and shit. What's good with y'all? Y'all good? <laughs> yeah. Yes. How y'all feeling this, uh, this Sunday morning? Well, afternoon. It's a little rainy, but we gonna get it together. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Now, we start everything off with a salute me while I'm here. Give people their flowers while you can still smell them. But it can't be nobody like your mom, your pops, your kid. If you mess around with Craig, it can't be Craig. It got to be somebody outside of the normal answer. Y'all got somebody y'all want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to Brie Buhari. Okay. Who's that? What's she do? Um, that is, well, that's actually my cousin. Can I, yeah. That's my that's cool. cousin, but she is one of the coldest uh, female rappers that I have ever met. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she from the city. Uh, yeah, she from the city. Detroit. Okay. All right. What about what about you, uh, Tanisha P? Who you want to give? Know. A- Y'all said it can't be somebody we know. know. It's somebody you know, but it can't be somebody like close. Like it can't be your boyfriend, your dude, your kids, your mom. It can be a cousin, uncle. Thank you, your mama's uh, love. Yeah. Cousin, uncle. Yeah. I got a, that's a in homie. The or something like that. Yeah. Go ahead. I wanna give Glorilla. Her flowers. <laughs> That's my girl. I've been rocking with her her stuff all since her album came out. Okay, we look she look. came up real fast. Yeah, my cousin, be la- me, my brother, my son be laughing me. Loki, I be listening to it a little bit. Mm-hmm. I know all the dudes. Literally, they said dudes and girls. They yeah, she kind of smooth. She... Mm-hmm. What about you, Nene? Who you want to give us uh, some flowers to? I'm gonna give it to Lola Brooks. Okay, I love her. I love her style. I like, I like that New York shit. Yeah, who is she from here? No, she's from New York. Oh, I thought she was just she up, New York. She up and coming. She okay. coming. Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give a shout out to all the grandmas that made Thanksgiving uh dinner <laughs> with those that. with those fat arms that be hanging right there who make Ooh, those. That's, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you see that meme? That's yeah. that. I saw somebody had posted a meme and it said uh it said ancestors please enter my arm fat. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh my god. So all them grandmas that all them grandmas that went to work on the mac and cheese, the motherfucking dressing, goddamn greens and shit, man. Salute to y'all arms. And y'all special powers and shit, man. That motherfucker, dog. We love y'all. We need y'all in the world. We <laughs> need y'all. <laughs> Speaking of, what's a Thanksgiving just, you know what I'm saying, passed up a couple of days ago? What's some shit that you need on your Thanksgiving plate and some shit that you don't need? I don't need cranberry sauce. Don't. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. Tripping. We need that hey, cranberry sauce. Hey, y'all gotta get out, dog. This is your over, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what you no. eat your dressing with? Come, Come on. on. Ew. What? Are you back <laughs> doing a No, you cranberry sauce and dressings like meat and bread. Yes, so you gotta get. So them. do y'all like homemade cranberry sauce or? No, I got had that gel in the can. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can. I don't want no. Cra- I want no cranberries in that mother. That's that white junk. <laughs> yeah. So you say you no cranberry sauce. No cranberry mm, sauce. Mm, mm. What you gotta have though? I gotta have macaroni and cheese, mm. and I gotta have ham. Hell yeah, mm. ham. Hell yeah. Now the mac and cheese. Do you want like creamy or you want that like Ooh. I gotta carve it? Um, just like something in between. In between <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. all, right. all right. What about y'all? What y'all? What y'all need? What y'all don't need? I don't need cranberry sauce. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. I I, I God do damn. Mm-hmm. I need gravy. Okay. Cause I put it on all my food, and somebody just told me that was weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all think that's weird? No, I don't really rock with the gravy. Oh, only time I put gravy is on my mashed potatoes and my rice. I literally dress just pouring the gravy all over my food, and I stuck, took my plate, and I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> my food man what, what, what you need what you need, need? i'm gonna do gotta have yams mm. we not never mm. doing chitlins i don't yeah. know who do chitlins no no i don't need no chitlins in my life I shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh-uh. yeah hell nah. so no she, nobody just me okay. what chitlins you fuck with chitlins <laughs> yes no i'm fuck with, with the chitlins no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, hold on. You don't want no cranberry sauce on, on right, your dressing, but you, but you want, want some chillings? Yeah. No, you, you, you fooling. You fooling. Now, shit, speaking of, you know, Thanksgiving, the year 2022 is almost over. What's what's some shit? How y'all year been? Like, some ups, some downs, some in-betweens, all that good shit. Like, how y'all, how y'all year been? 
Um, I feel like it's been going up. Like we've been mm -hmm. in the process of like creating a lot of new music and mm -hmm. shooting videos mm -hmm. and whatnot. Consistent, y'all been consistent. Yeah, yeah. being yeah. consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just need to get back in the studio a little bit more. Yep, a little bit more. That's, That's what y'all fucking up on. <laughs> like, oh, y'all just need to find like a home, or y'all just is, is y'all fault? Which one is it? Um, <laughs> really, just like <laughs> pri prioritizing our uh, time to go time. to the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, because I used to be a rapper back in my day, but the what funds, that shit, oh shit, hold on, I got hold on, hold on, I got I to pull my phone out, <laughs> but no, it's just, that shit costs too much, mm -hmm. like videos, I'm too cheap, like you guys ask him, I'm a cheap dude, I don't want to pay no money for nothing, so if I can't have it at the crib, my, my shit was quick, 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 and we was the Young City Boys back in the day, me and my nigga Rez and shit, man, shout out to Rez, dog, whatever, cuz, we was the Young City Boys, we thought we was going to get a deal, that shit didn't happen, so we quit. Hell yeah, it was, and, and he went to jail. That shit just cost too much money. Cause video you gotta think, does not have to cost that much. a video gonna cost you about the cheapest video probably about what four five hundred. Mm -hmm. mm, even lower than that, like you can get a video shot for like two fifty. All right, that's the okay original beat. If you don't want to go on YouTube and steal like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who you know. Like it be, it be some sweet. Like uh, it be some sweet people. Like you never know that that'll make sweet beats that that'll throw it to you. Like all right. So what y'all gonna what y'all gonna do to get this access to the studio a little bit more so y'all can get more music out? Um, low key. Like uh, I'm in the process of trying to like learn the uh, like how to use the dolls and stuff mm -hmm. so I can record myself and of course like eventually learn how to mix and master it. Yeah. Um. That's a good way to save money and to make money as well, cause you can like charge people for sure. Like, hell yeah, hell yeah, stuff. hell yeah. Then you yeah, you ain't gotta worry about that prices. So you make some money. So what's some shit y'all learned about yourself? Like damn, I didn't know I was able to do that. Or, I'm full of shit, or you know what I'm saying? Like what? <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know how much fun I would have like performing on stage. Like now, mm -hmm. it's like addictive. Like, yeah. They got me wanting to do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, like. You know, I remember our first show, I was so nervous. Yeah. It was at this uh pool, this little indoor pool party. Mm -hmm. And like, I could, I, I still got the video. I don't, I don't think I posted it on Instagram. Yeah. But like, you could tell I was like shaking and <laughs> just didn't know how to have like any sort of like stage presence or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. How you get through that shit though? Like, was it the liquor? Was it weed? Was it... What like? Uh yeah, I I had to take a couple <laughs> shots okay. to get my nerves down. But even with that, I was still nervous. Yeah. yeah but once you start, you win it. That's yeah. it. It's natural. Yeah. That's how I feel like it went. What about you, Tanisha? You be on some nervous shit too, or you had to like kind of like. Get... I I am actually a shy person. I think mm -hmm. that I am. Mm -hmm. But when we do the performances, like I'm not shy at all. Yeah. Just like every time, I'm I'm not really shy, and I actually like performing. Mm -hmm. um, so, I was kind of surprised with that. So right now, that's what yeah, that's what y'all kind of pride yourself on y'all performances, now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how how often do y'all perform though? Mm -hmm. I want to say at least like once a month. Mm -hmm. Or probably more than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Now twenty twenty three coming up. What's some goals? Like what's some shit you want to accomplish next year and shit? It could be with the music. It could be with life. It could be whatever. Um, I really want to get my uh branding like in order. Mm -hmm. Like, um, as far as like how I want to market myself and you know go about like reaching out to my target audience, mm -hmm. so I really want to get like the marketing aspect of the music down pat. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just uh, stuff I've been researching. Like I've been looking up like the different algorithms and stuff for like uh, Instagram and TikTok and mm -hmm. stuff. So just taking advantage of like the tools that's. Mm. Available and out there. Do you feel like you use social media enough though? Because some people be artists and they you look on their page, and they ain't they don't post, they don't talk about themselves. They just got that shit and they buy you. I'm a rapper. Mm -hmm. I I don't. Yeah. Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's, 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 all, that's all I was gonna say. My goal is to like get more out there, like start posting more and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like real stuff, because it's so easy to come up on social media and yeah, stuff. Like yeah. people don't take the time to post. Like it's mm -hmm. so simple. Yeah. Even if it's in your story a lot, like it gotta be something on that yeah. motherfucker though. Because niggas be hit me up like I want to go on the podcast. I get on the page like. These niggas say they rap. <laughs> I, see, I just see their kids yeah. and shit. Their mama and just like. Yeah, it's not like back in the day where like, you know, people was going to the, like the record companies and stuff and like handing them they uh, mm -hmm. like demos and like mixtapes and stuff like that. Like, Hell yeah. You really have to like keep your audience engaged for sure. yeah. or for like sure. they'll forget Cause about they, Hell yeah, they forget about your ass in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. That's why I know I be giving niggas nerves. I post like three or four times a day. Like nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 
Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now what about you, Nene? What you do? You a body guard? Like what you be beating nigga, ah! beating nigga ass like? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm I'm into fitness. I'm mm. into makeup. Faces by Nene. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm starting dipping my toe into the music thing. So we're being more consistent next year and that. Yeah. And just like y'all said, being consistent with posting content. I'm I'm doing good now. I try to do at least once a day. Yeah. Something whether it's the fitness, makeup. Post the repost in our videos, just getting yeah. it out there. So now with the fitness, how hard is that to, to stay consistent? Because everybody, <sighs> you know, January January first, twenty twenty three, mm -hmm. the gym gonna be packed as fuck. We not playing. But then, it's more than just the gym too, though. You can be at home with it. You know, a lot of apartments got gyms, but once you start, I feel like you fall in love with it. That's what I did. Once you start thirty days, you see those results. You gonna want to keep going. Now what, what 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 was that point? You was like, you know what? I'm fucking around. I need to get in the gym. Like <laughs> I say shit every time I look in the mirror. Like goddamn, I'm fucking <laughs> around. I'm getting titties now. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my life together. My son come upstairs. He 15. I need to go all buff a little bit. Like, damn. Duh. Fuck, no. I'm doing myself. Like, <laughs> what was the breaking point? He's like, no, I got to get this shit popped. Mm -hmm. Well, I had my baby in January, January 2nd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once I had her, I gave myself a couple months to kind of heal. Mm -hmm. I was able to eat the stuff I couldn't eat when I was pregnant, drink a little liquor I couldn't <laughs> drink. So <laughs> once the couple months was over, I was like, I'm not playing. Like, I should be able to pick my baby up without being out of breath. Yeah. So once sure. <laughs> I was huffing and puffing, yeah. I started getting, getting to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you be you be finding yourself going bad like I got uh, mm -hmm. this motherfucking snacks looking good, you cookies and shit. Okay. Cause that's my that's my that night. My fucking chocolate chip cookies in this you bitch. Let it out. That's my go to. Like I attempted to like run around the block <laughs> a couple times. Man, but, listen, I've been paying Planet Fitness for like five months. Man, and ain't ain't step foot in there. Like, God so you gotta find a gym you love too. I just uh signed up for Edge. Yeah. I, I just go in there just to go, just okay. cause it's so nice. The movie theater they take your kids. Like it's really they nice. got a movie theater. Oh, yeah, that's the one from a gym. They, they got a movie theater. Yeah, I stay over. They I got stay over. Kids. I signed a layup today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I stay over have, there. I stay over there. Shit, that's my area and shit. Hell yeah. What what's some shit that's holding y'all back though? Like. From just like achieving y'all, what y'all feel goes or where y'all need to be. Like you said, the studio shit. But what's some other shit that's holding y'all back? Um, it's like like you said before. It's it's very expensive. expensive. Yes. I was gonna say, why are you like, the same thing? Okay. <laughs> it's very expensive because it's like if you do a show, you just don't want to look like any type mm -hmm. of way. Like mm -hmm. when it's you perform, mm -hmm. yeah, like. Like you gotta get your your nails done, hair done, makeup done. Yeah, that's right. that's the hard part about having. You gotta worry about like daily stuff too, like bills and all that For stuff. Sure. And then mm -hmm. like you can't just say skip that and then put it all in one thing. Like you gotta prioritize all of that. Yeah, well, yeah, cause he it's hard with y'all, cause with the ladies, y'all y'all can say y'all gotta look good, smell good, mm -hmm. hair good, everything. Us right. dudes going that much, whatever. <laughs> hair nappy as fuck, got tight ass jeans and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> a PZ a t-shirt that bitch and niggas rapping and shit though like niggas don't have to give a fuck about themselves. Like yeah for sure for sure hell yeah see that's why I couldn't be like a manager of a of a, of a female artist cause it's just shit it's too much it's too much y'all got managers y'all got somebody y'all working with or y'all just still out here free free um, agents just free agents mm -hmm. yep so what motivates y'all like what, what keep y'all going besides y'all I know you got a kid. Well, you got some kid or one kid? I got three. Okay, yeah, you out here with me. We three games, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but what's some shit that motivates y'all outside the kids? Because, of course, the kids going to motivate mm -hmm. you. Um, It's just, like, I'm motivated by my my passion. Like, when I say I'm, I'm going to do something, I like to, like, mm -hmm. follow through with that. For sure. So... It's pretty much like, you know, I said I'm going to do this, so now let me come up with a plan mm -hmm. and, like, work towards it. Mm -hmm. like, and Nico been talking about this since we've been in high school. We mm -hmm. used to be in the basement. They yeah. got a little studio in the basement. <laughs> Nico's yeah. like, come on, y'all. We need to do a little rap. Let's do We got to have a group. Let's do something. So y'all been doing it for a minute, but, like, at what point did you take it serious, though? Um... I want to say, uh, what's that? Yeah, she when we did. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I've been taking it serious, but... um. I just started putting like my money like towards it like okay i'm gonna actually like mm -hmm. get some beats like buy some uh some beats from people i know mm -hmm. um like go to the studio mm -hmm. record it mm -hmm. and you know just try to be like con consistent for sure with that. and mm -hmm. like i i was pretty much i was scared to because i was like I wonder what people are going to like think of me like mm -hmm. if yeah. I if I do this like it's I was gonna be dope very, or not. yeah like I was very concerned with like what people like would think 
if I put myself out there. Yeah, for and sure. And then I just had to like let go of that like, yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm fucking fear <laughs> and actually like do it instead of just like saying saying I'm gonna do it and then like waiting. Hell yeah, Cause I'm the king of that shit. I'm Procrastinating. Yeah, I'm the king of that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna do this shit, nigga. This nigga be like, man, you on some fuck shit, man. You ain't gonna do nothing. It took me about three years to start this podcast. Mm. I was talking about that shit, but I'm like, man, niggas ain't gonna hear what the fuck I gotta say. Cause supposed to be me and some other homies, but them niggas was on some bullshit. So that's when I turned that shit to a whole like little interview jump. So that shit was straight. Mm -hmm. So what you, you did you start falling in love with the music by seeing how much fun she was having with it? Yeah, she actually um got me into it. She mm -hmm. wanted to do a song together. So mm -hmm. after that we started doing a lot of songs together. And that's and, and, but yeah, she really got me into the rapping. It's been going crazy since, huh? Mm hmm Alright, give me y'all worst advice and best advice y'all y'all received with music, with life, with kids, with, mm -hmm. with dudes, women, whatever. Mm. Gotta say women out here Cause they be like Nigga you, all you know Nigga, You know niggas be going crazy on me And shit I don't want them people On my head <laughs> and shit but. So what, like, what's the Best advice Worst advice Mine would just be Consistency and discipline Will get you everywhere You want to be mm -hmm. With anything If you consistent You discipline And everything you want to do Is going to come to pass mm -hmm. to. What's, the, what's that worst advice though What somebody gave you That was terrible Like nigga Ooh. what Um motivation like just saying just get motivated like stop being lazy yeah. i hate the word lazy because yeah. it's just like everybody is unmotivated at one point in time it's For just sure. finding what's gonna get you up finding what's gonna push you to go harder mm -hmm. so yeah what about y'all what's y'all worst advice and y'all best advice y'all received music life whatever um my best advice and this is like probably very cliche but you know <laughs> follow your gut yeah like you know if you feel like weary of your surroundings you know trust your gut feeling yeah. mm -hmm. like if you have an idea in your head and it just keep like you know repeating itself and like s circulating you mm -hmm. know yeah, go for it shit. follow your gut yeah what's that what's that bullshit advice you ain't got um <laughs> <laughs> What's some bad advice that I got? Yeah. Like, like stay with him. <laughs> Don't stay with him. Like, <laughs> be your baby daddy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Do it for the kids. Like, okay. Do that's always some bad advice. And do it for the kids and y'all just hate each other. Do it for the kids though. <laughs> y'all niggas argue every day, but do it for them. Okay. See, you don't get no bad advice then. That was all good. That was a spot. What about you, Tanisha P? Like, what's some good, um, bad advice? So my best advice would be to not care what everybody thinks of you. Mm -hmm. Like that could be that. That's like the best advice I could ever give because a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. A lot of people sit there and care what what they're gonna think, what what they're gonna mm -hmm. think. But For it's sure, like yeah. if you like your stuff, if you if you doing what you do, if you want to do this. Do it and yeah. don't care what anybody else thinks. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now let's, let's, let's go ahead because I don't like to deep dive right into the music. I want to know about y'all growing up. So tell me how it was growing up, where y'all from, who was in the crib, all that good stuff. I know y'all probably gonna say Westside. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Westside, West ass motherfuckers, <laughs> man. But yeah, tell me who was in the crib and how it was growing up. I know y'all, y'all sisters, so y'all can mm -hmm. talk. You know, saying first. Well, I was uh, I was born in Casper, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. That's like towards like the western like type area mm -hmm. on the map. Yeah. Huh? In the country, yeah, I never heard of it. It's <laughs> <laughs> over there by California. Yeah. In the country, um, so my dad he's actually a musician and he plays the bass mm -hmm. and they was like traveling around mm -hmm. and that's where he met my mom mm -hmm. and that's how I ended up here in Detroit. Okay. Um, on the west side, grew up with my mom. And my uh, dad in the house. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a pretty fun childhood, I must say. Like, mm -hmm. uh, my mom, she was like really into like working with kids. Mm -hmm. Um, so that eventually like led to her like having her uh own like daycare and stuff. For sure, so, that's what's up. Hell yeah. Um, she brought she brought us up very well, and you know, oh, taught us a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They. Uh, Y'all got uh, siblings up besides y'all too. Y'all got others. Yeah, we got a younger brother. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Ray Ray! Oh Ooh. shit, what's up, cuz? Happy birthday, oh, man! Happy birthday! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even know, like what? I did, I did know. I didn't. 
so she talked about the growing up. So I can say I was a good child. But okay. She was the more experimental. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get in trouble. Yeah. So you learned from her, like, oh, she fucking I was up. I probably like the most. No, I think Ray Ray was the most spoiled. Yeah, Ray Ray was spoiled. She was the the good child, and I was like, I wasn't bad. I was just like to explore. Yeah. So explore. Yeah, you mean as like some explore shit like you were doing, like, yeah. or some bullshit that you What's were getting in trouble about? Oh, so uh, my yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember like Refer High School. For sure. Yeah. Where the Myers at? And, yeah. yeah. So it had closed down. Um. So it was abandoned. Mm. And I used to always like tell my friends like we need to go in there and like see yeah. what is inside that building. <laughs> <No>. So um, <laughs> somehow we ended up like getting into the building and we would just go run around yeah. like the abandoned building and like Fooling. Yeah. yeah, we only got grounded for. Ground down here, they didn't mean it. Do they still get grounded up? Yeah. Right, do people still get yeah, grounded? I don't think. I think they ass so. kicked or whatever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> get cussed out. Yeah, 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 so so y'all, y'all growing up, y'all say y'all mom and dad, they still together? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what's up with shit, man. I wish we had a round of applause thing, but yeah, that's, mm-hmm. they, they deserve that shit. Cause, Definitely. Yeah, motherfuckers don't be sitting together like that for real. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, that's what's up. So y'all was, y'all was raised on West Side, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. You was the quiet one, she was the wild one. Yeah. Going inside reference shit, going crazy. <laughs> smoking weed. <laughs> that's what we Right, Nick, was you smoking weed? Um... Like, yeah. I was, I ain't gonna lie. You was, okay. <laughs> I was thirteen, but I didn't I never used to like I used to I never used to like hit it right, so I yeah. just always so you just looking cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Nini? How was growing up? You, you, you're from the west side. Um, yep, uh God damn it. grew up on Six Mile, right off Southfield Freeway. Okay. West side. And then I got two siblings. We are all two years apart, so um one's twenty six, I'm twenty four, the youngest twenty two. Okay. Yep. Uh, we had both my parents. I'm a PK kid. Mm-hmm. Was a PK kid. <laughs> okay. But yes, yeah, so I grew up in church for real. A good girl till yeah. I met her. And then oh, no. Switched up a little bit at high school. That is not true. Hey, you, you always want you a church girl. Mm hmm. <laughs> we the best. We the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty simple. I had a good upbringing. Okay. Blessed. Definitely blessed. That's what's up, yeah. Blessing to y'all, man. Parents together and shit, man. Doing good. Staying on the terrible west side. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. <laughs> they not together right now, but oh, okay. they was together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Way up to high school. Now, as far as the music tale, who were some people that y'all was rocking with just off of y'all parents? Like, you said y'all, your dad was into music and shit. Like, but mm-hmm. who were some people y'all was rocking with just because that's, that's who they was playing in the crib? Oh, my gosh. I, got, I don't even know the names, but I just got so much <laughs> old music in my phone because he played the bass. Yeah. So, anything mm-hmm. with a good... Baseline, yeah. Like, yeah, so like uh, Parliament, um, George Clinton. Yeah, George Clinton, yeah, you got yeah. it right. Yeah. Um, what is their name? Ooh. The Barge. Oh, yeah, yeah the Barge. What did we say came from outer space? That's, what? Uh, that's Parliament. Oh, oh yeah, that's okay. what he, yeah. <laughs> he, like, he told us. He told us they came from outer space. Yeah, hell yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's that funk music. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, P funk, all of that. Yeah. Uh, Type of stuff. Well, on the R&B tip, like your mom was playing. Who she who she playing when she was mad at your dad? What? <laughs> My mom she had Keisha Cole. She like uh-huh. all, all no, but when we was little, she used to play like TLC mm-hmm. and like uh, Nas. And, yeah. You know that I know. What's the song I she used can. to sing? Yeah. Was um, it? it was the Tamia song, I think. Oh, uh, into you. Uh-uh. Nah, you know it wasn't no into you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I forgot. Tamia was cold though, and she mm-hmm. looked good. Yeah, to me it was cool. Okay, we can't remember. Right? What about rap, rap wise? Who who would y'all listen to once y'all got of age and y'all start rocking y'all own music? Away from yeah, remember, remember we couldn't listen to rap. Yeah. Y'all couldn't. Like, we need to remember that. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't listen to rap. I couldn't listen to like I couldn't watch any music videos. Mm-hmm. We couldn't up. watch any reality TV show. Damn. Mm-hmm. No reality TV. So like I was. I was trying to look at my car. I know. I was not <laughs> here. I was straight at the camera. <laughs> so, how, how, how do, so, since you saying that, like, back then, growing up, y'all couldn't listen to rap. Y'all couldn't watch that Ratchet TV and shit. Mm-hmm. How did your mom feel about y'all doing music now? Oh, she's 100% supportive. Yeah, oh, so she, she cool? Was, yeah, every time. Does she have a question, y'all? Like, why y'all say that? Or? No. Nope. Oh, okay. She then. gave she, me my first she literally. Talk. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. Going into my first performance, she's yeah. like, you got this she's girl. She's supportive for everything. Breathe. You're going to do great. Yeah. Shake a little. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> gotta do that for sure. <laughs> my my cousin Amber, she's the one who like really introduced us to like hip hop 
like mm. rap music because mm. we would go over there and she would like let us listen to like uh mm-hmm. like all the eminem uh mm. tapes and stuff and like the uh like nelly and ja Rule and jay-z <laughs> and all of that yeah, so yeah. nelly was that nigga though country grammar was cold mm-hmm. that nigga don't believe me that was a classic album nigga classic <laughs> <laughs> That was a classic boy. I was like, what, twelve in that month? I know everybody had the little uh, band 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 hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, I put band if I look like a goddamn goofy. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Now give me all right, give me an album or a song that take you back to a time. Every time you listen to it, mm. it take you back to a certain time. Ooh, I can't think of that. Uh, album? Or a song, whichever it could be album, song, artist, it take you back to a certain uh-huh. time, man. I wanna know that time. You got one? Um definitely uh Drake. Take care mm-hmm. brings me back to my high school days. Mm-hmm. Like you know, high school when you in your feelings and you just you know you throw on Drake. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely, <laughs> definitely when you in your feelings. Yes, uh, Tyler the Creator. Mm-hmm. Um, his I can't I think it's Goblin. Yeah, it was, was one yep. of his that album take me back to like it really like re sparked my interest mm-hmm. back into music. Yeah, I was like kind of. Um, like distracted by all the stuff that was going on in like high school and stuff but mm-hmm. yeah that that those two albums definitely uh bring me yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring back yeah. memories y'all got some cds or some albums that take y'all back uh, to a time yes okay so <laughs> the temptation oh, before you it takes me back to when my mom we used to always go to McDonald's okay. and play at the same oh. place. And they used to always, you're not an old McDonald's, they used to always play yeah. that old music, the Temptations mm-hmm. and all of that. And yeah. all, every time I hear a Temptations song or something like that, I think of going to play. Going to the place. Yeah. Okay, okay, now, now, high school, how was y'all in high school? Y'all was in sports? Like, what was y'all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We volleyball. Yep. Yeah, we all was on volleyball. Okay. Basketball. You said every sport? We did basketball. We did, every, mm-hmm. we, we did every sport. Well, y'all said basketball. Can y'all hoop, though? Y'all was out there I playing. I did last time. <laughs> Girl, I did last time. I hated getting in the game. Yeah. I okay. just, Oli, Oli joined the, the team. Yeah. yeah, I was a starter, but only because I was the only senior. And, and she's mm-hmm. a senior. Seniors had to start. So. Yeah, what school y'all was at? Bradford. Bradford, Bradford Academy. Academy. <laughs> <laughs> what year? What year you graduated with Bradford Academy? I didn't go there. I, I worked there. I coached there, everything. What what really? did you coach? Yeah. I coach uh s- uh seventh eighth grade boy girls and fifth and sixth grade boys. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, what year what year were you in there, if you don't mind? I graduated two thousand thirteen. Mm-hmm. I graduated we graduated. Twenty sixteen. Hell no, Bradford Academy. <laughs> that school was hard to find too, nigga. You were right, right past oh, that yeah, motherfucker, yeah. dog. That shit oh, yeah, it's in the back. back. Thanks, so y'all all in my hood. That's why I, well, my hood now. That's why I, yeah, I'll be all that's why I, that's why I reside over there. Goddamn, Brad! My wife, she's still working. She worked at Bradford for the last ten years, and she a pre K teacher though. Oh, ten years. Yeah. Oh, pre K. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Brad, them niggas be fighting. Yeah, them niggas wild. They oh, do. Yeah, they bad now. They, yeah. Yeah. they, they, they was, we was, was good. good. It was a yeah. good school. Yeah, yeah. We were that bad. No, that shit wild now. That shit, them, that's some wild childs up in that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Give me y'all first favorite rapper. My first favorite rapper. Or first favorite Ooh, artist. Nicki period. Minaj. She was the first. Okay. For me, the I first female. Nicki and Trina. It might be Nicki Minaj. Nicki and Trina. Eminem. Eminem. Oh, yeah, I seen in the car rapping Eminem and shit. Like, he was rapping. It, the, uh, what's that was saying? No. Stan song? He was yeah. rapping and shit. You yeah. remember Eminem. Mom had the Trina CD. And it had, oh. the, it had the song. Look, it wasn't Look Back At It. Mm-hmm. And she, she didn't know. She didn't know. She just gave it to us. She, she just gave like, it to us. <laughs> she knew it was a young. And we had the CD players back then. So yeah. we would listen to it with our headphones. And she she ain't she had no clue. Well, how old was he? Like seven, eight. Yeah, Listen, look I back at it. So big, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that song. No, come I wrote on, that the club. And, got caught. and every time my friends came over, I'd be like, "My mom gave me this CD." No, going she crazy. <laughs> I know. We used to we used to always like make up dance routines to it. Damn, I'm old. Y'all was young when that shit came. Yeah, out. that's what I said. When you said out loud, it well, sounds so. Maybe I was ten. I don't know. Yeah. That's young though for Nikki. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. All right, I don't know if y'all too thuggish to answer this question. Last time y'all cried, what was the reason? I cry every day. <laughs> I need, I need no reason though. What, the last time you cried, what, what was the reason? Uh, I cried just because I was giving myself my own testimony. Because I was just looking over for the new year. I was just crying because I'm like, for where I came last year mm. to where I am now, it's the complete 360. And mm. I was just like, God really brought me out of some. some was stuff. it an ugly cry though, or like that? It was like a like, crazy yeah. cry. It was one of those. <laughs> I had to go to the basement and just scream because I was just so thankful. For sure, that's an angry like, cry. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? When's the last time you cried? Um, I think the last time I cried, my grandpa recently passed. Okay, mm-hmm. so rest in peace. Um, mm-hmm. how, it was like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Oh, that's recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, I almost yeah. Rest in peace, Grand. Yeah, rest in peace. What about you, uh, Tane? Um, I'm a, I'm a big crybaby, oh. so I cried <laughs> last night. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> What'd you cry? <laughs> What'd you cry about? What was the reason? Give me some bad story. She uh, I was just like sleepy and being white. <laughs> yeah, she's like, a white. Yeah. She's a big baby. Oh, so she's be crying shit, for no yeah. reason. For no reason. Yeah, hell no. What did daddy tell you to do? This one. He said, What are you saying? He said, Wash the dishes. And you start crying. And you cry. Right? <laughs> oh, shit, man. Hell no. <laughs> now, uh. Last one before we get to the music. What's something that you wanted to be growing up that you never told nobody? Mm, superhero. Superhero. All right, if you were a superhero, what would be your superpowers? Ooh, um, well, before it was to be able to fly, but mm. I'm scared of heights. Okay. So, um, I know mine. I think my like now I would just want to be able to like, uh, what is it? Telekinesis. Ooh. Like move Tele- stuff. Move stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'd be straight. Move, move motherfuckers. I'm gonna, yeah, come, come here, get to this bed. Bam, mm-hmm. watch y'all watch do, you girl. <laughs> <laughs> I move you oh, right I to the bed. <laughs> move you right to the bed. <laughs> what about you? What about I you? would definitely be to teleport. Oh, so you'll be oh, a superhero too? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were talking about superpowers. No, something you wanted to be that you never told nobody. Um, I'm sure I was ready. I don't know. That I didn't tell nobody? Well, I've told people. Well, something I want to be is like a dermatologist. Okay, okay. But I've told okay, people I want that. To be there too. Mm-hmm. What about you, Nidhi? What you want to be that you never told nobody? I don't want to tell y'all. Yeah. What? <laughs> you still want to keep that shit in here? What want it? to be an Aces man. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want to be a, <laughs> out there? I gave up on that dream, y'all. I don't want to, I don't want to do that no more. Yeah. Just playing. Oh, I say, you, 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 you sure you gave up on it? <laughs> <laughs> never too late. Yeah, well, it is. It's too late. It's no, I ain't never too late. You always do that. But that's just one, because you know, I, I want to do anything I put my mind to, but that's just one I'm like, just I try never yeah. tell nobody about that shit. <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> now with the music shit, you said y- y- you've been serious with the music for a while, right? Since high school. Yeah. And you picked it up because, uh, you know, you start seeing her having fun with the shit. Really since mm-hmm. middle school. Middle school? Mm-hmm. What was your What was your first rap name? <sighs> my first rap name, it was Diggum. Oh my God. Diggum. Diggum. Yeah. What the hell? What, yeah. what's that mean? Was that? Smack. What's the Diggum Smack? It was, yeah. It was like kind of based off that cereal. Yes. <laughs> cereal? <laughs> so, uh, dig- Diggum. There was your... Just dig them. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, so you just like what? <laughs> <laughs> just do digging grades. Like what? What's, what's, what's the? What's yeah. behind it? Um. Shoot. Well, you know, I told you about Bree mm-hmm. uh, Buhari. So we used to be writing raps. Like mm-hmm. we, would, like after school, we would sit and lay down on my floor and like write write raps. Yeah. And we was like, what our rap name is gonna be? And I don't know how we came up with the name Diggum, but <laughs> I was Diggum and she was like Danger. Yeah. And we like had this chant. We were dig like Diggum dig Danger. Oh. And that's <laughs> it. Like, yeah. We used uh, to be coming over so. Now, 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 your name now, Tane Kelly. I know Kelly, that's your last name, right? Mm-hmm. So, Tane, that's your first name or that's. Uh, t- so, my full name is Taniqua. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's just like the first four letters of my name. T-A-N-E. Okay. Okay, okay. That's dope. I like that name, though. And then Tanisha P, that's your, I'm quite sure that's your real name, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. You, you ever thought about some other names? Like, I, I listen, we haven't yeah. been through this. I don't, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, you just going okay. with the flow. Yeah, I, yeah. I, no, at, first, at first, I was just saying T. So mm. it was just T. Yeah. So it was Tane and T. Mm. Mm-hmm. But then, people start calling my Instagram name. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, whatever. And yeah. so I just, I don't know if I could just come up with one in the future. Yeah, I mean, that's straight though, your real name. It can't go wrong with your real name. Yeah, <laughs> to these Pico, that's, that's that's straight, that's straight. Now, who uh who influenced your 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 sound? Like you got, I feel like you got a unique sound. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really, you know, you know. A lot of times you could be in Detroit and try to sound like mm-hmm. so many niggas from the city, right. mm-hmm. but I feel like you got a unique voice and shit like that. Like, so who influenced y'all sound as far as y'all rap style? Um, my style is definitely influenced um by a lot of like Eminem. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely like a lot of the like early like right. Tyler, um, the creator and uh, like Earl Sweatshirt mm-hmm. type stuff. So yeah, I remember now. Yeah, me I 
I don't know. I like I like hype stuff. Mm-hmm. I like anything you can turn up to because that's what we do. For sure. All mm-hmm. the time. So any anything like that. Oh, definitely I like Gucci Mane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 Gucci, new Gucci, oh, old Wayne, oh, old, old Gucci, yeah, old Gucci, Gucci and like Lil Wayne from uh the we, Carter Three. Yeah, we had the full dress. Yeah, the full dress. That's my nigga. I love Lil Wayne. Like he's my top three rappers like, uh all time. Like I love I Wayne. Way. I love Wayne, man. We we need another Wayne album ASAP. So you say uh those people that influence your shit, huh? And you say you just like hype music, like you like yeah, turn up. Yeah, I like stuff you can turn to or like sing to or like you know stuff that's catchy like mm-hmm. anything you can catch on. Can, 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 can y'all can y'all sing y'all y'all got some r&b Tanisha on Tanisha P. Tanisha P. Tanisha P. Tanisha P. Oh, you can sing? Uh, yeah. She, I, I tried to yeah. do get into that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like how I sounded in the studio. So. It sounds great. It sounds great. And Nico would know how to do a little something too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put it together. Yeah. So y'all be all those I might try group. to do that. I might try to get, get into that. I got songs and stuff, but um, yeah. I got to find the right person to record it. Okay, okay, okay. Speaking of, give me y'all first time in the studio. Like, how nervous was y'all? Like, how was it? A house studio, a real studio? Like, uh, uh, the first time I was in the studio was a house studio. I was doing a feature with someone, mm-hmm. and it was actually singing. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I. I didn't really like it. That was my first time. <laughs> like, that was my first time hearing my voice, and yeah. I thought it was like, I told him to put like auto tune on my voice, or yeah. like that, but I thought it was like way too much. I was like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like that shit. I don't like it, but it it doesn't sound it doesn't sound bad. At all. Yeah, for sure. What about yeah. you? What about you, Tanya? What your first time in the studio? How was that shit? Good or bad? My first time in the studio, I had no idea like the terminology that people was using. Like I didn't know what yeah, a stacks punch, mm-hmm. and punch I didn't, in. Yeah, I didn't know what a punch in was. I didn't know uh oh, yeah. what is it? Nick would be telling me. <laughs> <laughs> what is the thing where at the end? Come on, you stack your vocals or somewhere? It's it's not that. I can't I can't think of the term right now. Yeah. But I had no idea of that. I didn't know you could punch in, so I just kept trying to like say my verse like <laughs> all the way through and yeah. I didn't have to win mm-hmm. to like do that. <laughs> That's my problem. Yeah. yeah, so it was a song like Insane. It's, it was called Insane I recorded song. Yeah, I know it was on your SoundCloud. I, I heard yeah. it. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was my first experience in the studio. Yeah. Um my second experience, I was just like nervous again because that had been like years since i had been in the studio mm-hmm. so i'm like i told the engineer i'm like you gotta bear with me because mm-hmm. i i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna probably mess up a couple times yeah. definitely so now what you 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 want to take jake now um not not all the time oh sometimes she's really good yeah she's really good not all the time i'll be with now nini <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah. In the studio, she just went in there and. Oh yeah, she yeah. Really Nini, like she be talking crazy fine. on the motherfucking shit too. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she, trying, y'all. I'm yeah, trying. I mean, you had to find somebody you comfortable yeah, with. Yeah, no, for sure. Really Shout to Chris. Recording with. Okay, so that's oh, yeah. that's that's y'all main guy right now, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Chris be he. And we found another person too, but yeah, he's he's definitely somebody we're comfortable. Mm-hmm. Now what's some Patient, shit? Y'all, what's some shit that y'all got have in a studio session? Like some niggas need weed, drink, food, like. Quietness, like what y'all, what y'all, how y'all studio setting gotta be to have a, a good session? Um, good vibes. Yeah, mm-hmm. just good vibes. Turning up. I mean, sometimes we turn up, sometimes we don't. Cause mm-hmm. when we went there last time, we pushed everything out. Yeah, it was quick. You know, sure. we got the job done. Like sometimes we do have you know the liquor and stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, go to go to studio drink. Tequila. tequila. <laughs> you said go to studio drink. Yeah. Tequila. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> Yeah, I can't mess that. Go tequila. to go to liquor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, y'all need y'all need y'all like to have people there like who can kind of like give y'all some advice as far as like, all right, we ain't feeling that, or you should do this, or or y'all just critique yourself. I yourself. actually love when people tell like tell mm-hmm. me like this is not it. I don't like people that agree mm-hmm. with everything. Like, tell me if this sounds crazy. Yeah, like I know I I'm like a harsh critic on myself. Mm-hmm. So, Very. but everybody else be like, that sounds good. Like, don't do that. And I know. Everybody is their own, like, yeah, for sure. harsh critic. Yeah, like yeah. But, um, yeah, I like people that tell me, like, you need to redo it, do it like this. Like. Yeah, and she'll tell me if I sound oh, yeah. terrible. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like to sound terrible. Like, <laughs> uh-uh. But you, but you, you do have to get mad, like, oh, man, what the fuck you mean this shit ain't straight? Like, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Like, how many songs we got to do? It? Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, y'all family, y'all sisters, y'all, you a homie. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's sister, too. Okay, well, sister, well, shit, sister, sister, <laughs> this motherfucker. But as a as a family, as a, as as people knowing each other and stuff like that, like what y'all gonna do to make sure y'all never get to a point where y'all beefing? Cause a lot of people come into this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we we tight as fuck. We trying to make our way 
on the scene, but as soon as money get into play or as soon as people get in their people's ear, that shit just get destroyed. Like, so what y'all gonna do to make sure y'all don't never have no beef or y'all fall out with each other? I think it's just communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, communication. Like being proud of everybody's achievements yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and remembering like what everybody did for each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we came in this together or like I have this part in this and this part in this. Like don't try to like sell me out short or for sure. mm-hmm. like we all coming up together, so we gotta we yeah. gonna we gonna eat Respect eat together. Yeah. And mm-hmm. respect. Yeah, Everybody yeah. got their own sound, own hustle. And it's not a group. I know you guys are a group, but everybody still do their own thing yeah, too. So it's like you just respecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wants. so y'all so y'all a group or y'all do y'all group mm-hmm. and y'all uh, solo or y'all just focus on you know how y'all how y'all y'all trying to attack this shit as a group or an individual like what? You can talk about it because you know you want. To mm-hmm. Um. So so far we we are not like confirmed a group yet, but mm-hmm. we do a lot of collaboration. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I can't think of a name for it, but we're we're within like the the same like realm of, um, I would say like kind of like uh, if we had a label, like we would be yeah, all, all under. The oh same. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah for sure. not that was good. Yeah, that considered was a good, 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 good answer. Good yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 good answer. Good <laughs> answer. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, well, I do this thing called talk about the bars. I take a piece of your bar from a song because you gave me some music a while back, unreleased and some released music. And then you tell me what it is or how you feel about that. So on uh, reasons why I smoke, okay, is it okay for me to talk about bars from that? I don't know if you released it. You said nice, I ain't eat, but my kids, but my kids fed. Mm, yeah. So what you? So talk about that, like as far as like living it, living real life. You got kids and shit, like you go through stuff. Like talk about that bar with your kids and yourself and struggles you may go through. Um, shoot, it's so with that bar, like. You know, you until you have a kid, like you never know how, like expensive it can <laughs> get, yeah. or like you know, like is, you know, when you take off of work and you, um, you gotta pretty much like s- scramble to like get your money together. You gotta make mm-hmm. sure like your kids mm-hmm. is like straight. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You, yeah. So. What's some shit that y'all didn't know before going to this motherhood? Like, mm-hmm. god damn. How sleepy, <laughs> how Definitely. sleepy you you be like yeah. sleepy mm. to the point where like you kind of like hallucinating. Yeah, you not uh yeah. getting like no type of sleep. Yeah, what about you, mom? My, mom number two and shit. Like, what's what she's be, You're never without your child. Like, even oh, now, yeah, she's yeah. still in my head. I'm still thinking like, is she good? Who got her? Mm-hmm. Making sure she's straight. Like, even if I'm going out, mm-hmm. it's the constant anxiety. Like that mom anxiety is real. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Now let me let me let me ask y'all a question real quick. This is off the off the top. Like, oh y'all, I ain't, y'all ain't got answer, but are y'all are y'all with y'all kids, father? No, he, I am. Okay, all right. Now you say no. So this mm-hmm. is, this this question go to you. I know a lot of women have kids. With dudes and stuff, but the dude have a hard time keeping a kid whenever whenever there's a beef between mm. the moms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, you, mm, yeah, see, so like, mm-hmm. wh- <laughs> like I know people personally, like family members and stuff like that, mm-hmm. friends, and they always be like, "I ain't let my kid be with you because I don't trust you." But then you be thinking like, "Hmm, you trust that nigga to go ahead and break it open?" Like you know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> <laughs> like talk about that. Like when it become like co-parenting. I don't know y'all situation if y'all beefing y'all cool, mm-hmm. but co-parenting when y'all not really seeing eye to eye. See, we just got back in a good place, but <laughs> yeah. when we're not seeing eye to eye, I try to just keep it strictly about the baby. Like mm-hmm. this is the days you pick her up, the days you know you drop her off, mm-hmm. you bring your back, you know here you go. Yeah. And then we on good terms. It's more, it's more <laughs> so more a little bit more friendly. Like he send videos of her. He yeah. still, you know, still communicate a little bit. But I still, no matter what, keep it just about yeah. the baby. Yeah. You do not cross no gray lines. Yeah, because like a lot of times when you had kid with a, with a, with a lady and y'all not together, it's like mm-hmm. she feel like this is my kid. I'm just letting you borrow. See, no, <laughs> I, I am a firm believer in mommies need a break too. Okay, yeah. I yeah. I believe that if the dad is actively trying to be in the baby's life, if you have seen he is a good father, mm-hmm. let him be with the be with the baby. Yeah, that's good, his baby. That's too. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. now with you, you with you, you, you know, saying so y'all together and stuff, have ever been time with like. Having kids and a pressure and just you know saying kind of got to y'all maybe he has y'all like on the breaking point. Um, kids can ca- cause a little conflict between each other if shit ain't mm-hmm, going right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's 
you know, that's part of the experience. And it, it does, it takes a lot for, like, two people to, like, you know, come together and be like, okay, you know, our problems aside, mm -hmm. we have to figure out what we need to do to make sure, like, our, sure. our kids is, is straight. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And being mm -hmm. on that, like, same accord, you know, having a, a, a mutual respect, like, in regards to, like, what you want for... Yeah. Um, your kids mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, Tanisha, you want kids in the future? Sure do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you say you'll be a happy ass mom, like. You know what I'm saying? Just like happy all the time, like <laughs> shit, just chipper and shit. Though. I think so. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, on Move, bitch, I like that song too. <laughs> they, uh, you, I think this is about the beginning. You say they ask if I'm fine, reply I'm alright. But what what happens when you're not alright? Like, what do you do when you're not alright? When shit going down for y'all? How y'all pick y'all spirits back up? Pray. Pray. <laughs> okay. What about, about y'all? Y'all pray too? Um, so a lot of times the prayers don't get answered. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it don't. They just got a second. I do pray because when I'm not alright, like things could go from like zero to uh, mm -hmm. 100 like real quick. Yeah. Like I, I have, I feel like I have two levels. Like I have the level where I like I'm like calm and then I have like yeah. mm -hmm. the level where I could just like be mad and like drop snap. a bad ass. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I feel like a I feel like a good cry make everything <laughs> <laughs> everything better. For sure. Hell yeah. You just need to cry to yourself sometimes. Cry it out. Yeah. It'll make it really a little better. Now, or you got friends to talk to. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You need, you oh, you need them. You need them. To, you yeah, know? yeah. Can you keep that shit bottled in? You're going to yeah. fucking go crazy. Yep. I love that. I got people to talk to. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of you saying you go crazy quick, like bam, bam, mm -hmm. on that one song, Insane, you say, I'm not. Ooh. You say, uh, <laughs> I'm not crazy, just a little insane in the brain. Mm -hmm. It seems like you that type of person. Like, you be, you be fighting, don't you? Like, you be, like, fighting? <laughs> it's, it's like you just, like, you get mad quick. Like, you, I don't know. I just. I feel that vibe from you, like. Nisha, do I get mad quick? She. she <laughs> Whenever you got asked somebody, that means no, that listen, <laughs> she. Right. She actually got way better after she had kids. I'm mm. not gonna lie. See, like she. <laughs> <laughs> she wanna see. Oh, I used to be like, oh my god, Nico about to flip out. She about to do this, do that. No, but like after she had her kids, she she was. But see, you know what? You know what it is because I know a lot of people like 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 their birthdays in June. I know your birthday June twenty eighth or ninth. Twenty eighth. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, I know you. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> people that, that got for some reason people I meet, my wife birthday June twenty sixth, my brother no June twenty fourth, my brother birthday June twenty sixth. They crazy. Uh, what's your sign? I'm a cancer. Yeah, she a cancer. <laughs> so <laughs> me, I don't know. I think I'm a cancer. I don't know. One sometimes I say cancer, sometimes I say Gemini. But I just know that everybody I meet that's got that late June birthday, they be yeah, they be tripping. So you be tripping, huh? Yeah, but I got I got uh I got a lot better like ever since I had my kids I took a little class yeah. and like now I'm just I be chilling for sure for sure what what's some shit right now that could trigger trigger you like mm -hmm. um if I lose something mm -hmm. like and I and I know like I set it right there mm -hmm. and then it just disappear on mm -hmm. me like I will flip out like yeah that's how my mom used to be with weed. <laughs> <laughs> like I had the blunt. Like, <laughs> That'll do it right there. Or somebody eat the last of my food. Oh my god! Like, somebody put her ice cream in the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, somebody put my ice cream in the refrigerator. And oh no, what? on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> on top of the refrigerator. Man, yeah. See, that's one thing. My wife, you can't. I can't eat her food. She be mad as fuck. Like I had this right here. <laughs> my name. All that bullshit. What about y'all? What's some shit that like kind of like set y'all off off the rip? Um, I don't like mean people. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very nice. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nice, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I do not like. I'm very nice. Mm -hmm. I just don't like. Nisha is friendly. Yeah. I don't like mean people. Yeah. Like, just mean for no reason. Like, why is she being mean? Yeah. Or, like, somebody trying to just. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Nina? What's some shit that set you off? Yeah. I have the road rage, okay? Oh. oh. I hate people like that. If I'm in that last lane. Man. Your ass is only going 30. Yeah. Yeah. I damn near might hit you. Just Duh. you fuck me and your shit up. Cause yeah. you not about to sit here. <laughs> Man, my thing is like the thing I never understood people with road rage because I mean we just get there. No. Just get <laughs> no. I got I know, I know. Come somebody I'll be cussing my <laughs> Somebody threw something at my like threw like a drink or something like See, I get out. And I almost chased them. Like I almost, yeah. I almost chased them. I couldn't get over, so Man. I couldn't chase. Them. But see, y'all gotta be, y'all gotta be careful about road rage. Cause I remember yeah. my, my wife got mad at somebody for cutting her off. 
So she cut her off. They kept playing this game until right. the, the, the girl got out of the car, had the gun, was tapping uh, her window. Like that. You see, you gotta have yours on YouTube. When uh, y'all battle that way. It ain't no, no, it ain't that. Ain't that. <laughs> man, man. <laughs> now, your one song you had uh, called uh, what? Buff Bills? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's you, my favorite song. You said, um, I used to be embarrassed by my impediment speech. Talk about that. Like, that's something you go through or something you was embarrassed about. That's just like, it went with the bar. Um, no, I so. I used to have, like, and I think you had it, too. Yeah, stuttering. Yeah, I had, like, uh, like kind of a, a stutter. Or I had this thing where, like, I would think of, like, something to say, but mm. I would be thinking so fast that I couldn't get, like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah, my be like words that. out. Yeah. And, like, it just led me to, like, being kind of, like, a, a, a quiet person. Mm-hmm. Just because I was, like, kind of embarrassed to, like, talk. Yeah, because people are always saying some shit or, like, kind of mocking mm-hmm. you or whatever. Yeah. What about... Oh, I'm about to say, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> what's some shit that you, what's some shit, matter of fact, yeah, what's some shit that you embarrassed about that, like, you still go through for the rest mm. of y'all? Mm. Yeah, you know I was going to ask you these deep questions. <laughs> embarrassed? Yeah. We are embarrassed about little I something. am. I know I am. But I, can, I don't know why I can't do See, that. everything what's that I was about? embarrassed about, mm-hmm. I just overcame, like, mm-hmm. my weight, mm-hmm. my forehead. No, I see. Yeah. I see some bigger foreheads than that. Like, for you, real, yeah. Like, so no, for sure. My son, my son, so like, my son, my, my son, mom, nigga, like, head. Ah. I used yeah. to be embarrassed about like my jawline because people used to call me like the crimson chin. And stuff like no, that. they didn't. <laughs> they did. Like, oh, baby. <laughs> uh, what, what was I watching? When nigga said you got. Oh, that was what's name with months that you got a chin. Oh, I was just hit. Oh yeah, I used to be embarrassed by like all like scars. I got like mm. scars on my shirts and on my face. But and I used to like wear shirts mm-hmm. that's like this and stuff like. I yeah. never like show my chest and stuff like that. Or like mm-hmm. I try to cover with makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to wear what I want. Okay. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, what's what's that? Uh, Tour coach. That's my first thing mm-hmm. I see y'all perform that at the Sunday shit, right? Yep. That's yeah. the first time we made. It. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you said uh new money turned old friends into into uh what is it new enemies, enemies? Mm-hmm. into an enemy. So do have y'all seen like, y'all have haven't took off yet, but have y'all seen some type of old friends like kinda like be envious of y'all even starting this music shit? Mm, no. Not anybody that I like nobody has made it like obvious or like clear to me. Um but I do see it like all the time with like other people. Mm-hmm. Like you know, they they their friend will like start something and um, like they just kind of become like envious. So you see it, you see it all the time. Mm-hmm. For sure, hell mm-hmm. yeah, hell yeah. Well, so what you what, when y'all start getting that money? Like, see you seeing niggas acting weird and shit. Is that something you gonna check? You gonna check them check them about it? Or like, or you or you would you start acting funny once you get the money to people? <laughs> <laughs> you said, well, I'll oh, start I gotta bring it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't think I will. I, I'm definitely not going to start acting funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I just don't want nobody to feel like I owe them anything. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm the friend with all, or with the money or stuff. Like, of course, I'm going to look out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but like, don't think. Can't look out for everybody, though. Yeah, like, yeah. don't mm-hmm. think I'm, I got it every time. Like, I got to still save up, do what I got to do, and stuff like that mm-hmm. with my, you know. So that's, that's what I, how I feel like most. Um, friends fall out like mm. they feel like you owe them, oh, you owe them something yeah. or yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like nigga, we we caught the bus together, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my dollar, at, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna still put my people on though. It's like it's still like makeup artists, nail techs. You know what I'm saying? Hair stylists. Mm-hmm. Like we on. So I feel like I love artists who do that. Like yeah. you bring them along. If you gonna For come sure. along, you gonna work. Yeah, you gonna work. You yeah. working somehow, some way. You mm-hmm. working. No. Okay, and then another thing mm-hmm. is like, um. You can't. You can definitely do that, like with makeup or stuff like that. But you can't always do that with other artists. Like as soon as you come on, they think they they expect you. Like yeah. okay, you gotta yeah. put me on because I'm in the music yeah. industry. So, but you can't always yeah. do that. Like, if you sign with somebody or something like that, like yeah, yeah, you yeah, literally yeah. can't do it. Yeah. 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 I think I post your shit on Instagram. Yeah, I repost it. Yeah, you can definitely yeah, do stuff yeah, like that's that. It, yeah. But niggas, I'm telling you, mm-hmm. niggas be crazy, man. Niggas think because just because they know you, like all right, bet Tane, you on. I know you. Put me on. Yeah. You don't put me on. Oh fuck yeah, you. Yeah. Sometimes like people brands. Clash like sometimes yeah. you can't repost somebody's for sure. you know stuff to like your Instagram. Yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like your job for real. Like they don't mm-hmm. be looking at it like that. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, cause I want I still want get my brother a job where I work at. That nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga crazy, dog. Like, who's this crazy ass nigga? I don't You're know like, who you, that nigga you, is. You was the <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Now, um, I like uh, no more chances. 
And you said some shit. That's why I said, I don't know. You might be a fighter. I woke up today and chose violence. Don't speak on my name. Choose silence. You, mm. you, mm. like, when, did, when did you come down on the violence? Because uh-huh. like, <laughs> like, you say you cool, but yeah, from, the, from some of your bars, you, yeah, you. Like, literally, after, after I had my kids. Yeah. Like, after I had my kids, I'm like, you know, I'm not living for myself no more. Like, yeah. I got these these kids that I gotta take care of. I can't just like be out here like doing like, you know, reckless stuff, like just stuff I think of, like off the, pretty much like acting off of like impulses and yeah. stuff. Like I gotta What's like the- take the time out to like breathe and really like think about mm-hmm. like what I'm doing. Now before kid, oh my bad, I'm sorry. Before kid, I'm about to say, what's the most reckless shit you did that you look bad like, nigga, I was crazy. What's the most? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you like, when you get so angry, you black out, so yeah. you don't mm-hmm. really. Yeah. I ain't never got that angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, get, oh, the nigga got something to say. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. like, you you and black out on somebody else. No, did I black out? The worst thing I did, but this is after my baby, mm-hmm. was do that whole like, fuck your baby daddy shit up. Yeah. What you do, man? I fucked the whole house up. <laughs> but that's like the worst thing. Was here. it your house though? Your house too? I was staying yeah. there, but his name was on the lease. So oh, it was his house. Man, his house. Duh. Now, have y'all ever had somebody? What What's the crazy thing somebody did to keep y'all from leaving, or vice versa, in a relationship? Oh, Lord, you know that. Oh yeah. Oh, Take the craziest out. thing somebody did. Somebody oh, did to keep. Oh, go ahead. I think they fake injuries, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like. I'm not talking to them. They block. They call me like. I'm in the hospital. Yeah. I need your help. Blah, blah, blah. How many or times I, you fall for it? Like a million years. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, I did it a lot. I ain't going to lie. You fell for it a like, lot. I broke my leg because of you. Or like, I feel like you was going to jail on party. Duh. Like, Duh. like, damn. What about, what about you? What's the crazy thing you did for love or somebody did for love to keep you? <laughs> you said what's the craziest thing? Yeah, the craziest thing you did for love or the craziest thing somebody did to, to keep you... <laughs> I would say the craziest thing I probably did was like call somebody phone like a million times. Get mad, cussing on voicemail too. You bitch, you see me call you? Like, yeah, hit them up on every single social media that they yeah. got. Like, mm. I know you see me calling you. You ain't pull up me. me, me, me. I pulled up. You pulled up. Okay, <laughs> right, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, you that's just keep crazy. it PG, like. I pulled up like, hey, I'm out. I'm outside right now. You need to. So on that ride, on that ride there, what would you expect? Like it's like if I see a chick, I'm gonna go crazy or like. No, I knew the chick was gonna be there. Yeah, that we get. He it. told me that like he was, she was about to come through. I was like, okay, bet I'm about to. Yeah. I'm about to pull up too. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I pulled up like, hey, I'm outside yeah. right now. Come and talk to me, or I will Ooh. come in there and okay expose everything. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I knew I can get out of you. <laughs> Yeah. No. Did he come out Dang. there? Did he come out there before you came in? <laughs> did he come out before you can come in? Um. Yes, he did come outside, and he was like, "If you come in, I need you to be cool." Yeah. I'm like, with the girl in there? Yeah, she was there. She had. She actually pulled up after I pulled up, and I said, "Oh I had my god, that was a movie." What about so you? Like, what, what about you? <laughs> what about you, Nene? What you did crazy for some love? Mm. A love done crazy for you? <laughs> mm mm. I'm not crazy in love. I don't think I've ever been crazy in love. Hey, y'all ever had, had nigga fake cry for y'all? Hell yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I did that I shit. I think yeah. I got a little yeah. fake tears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You mean the baby turn around? See, I'm the type, I'm going to call it out I right know, there and I'm going to dust I think I was like, what is you crying for? Yes, like, so. Man. Like, come on now. They was like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> crying just the worst of times. Crying just, one time it didn't work, I feel like an asshole over here fake crying and shit. Oh, you keep, did that? Yeah, trying to keep your eyes open wide. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get this tear out. Bam. Uh-huh. Turn around. Look what you made me do. Uh, I, no, I, I ain't left uh, songs on girls' voicemails. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Back there. Song? Yeah, a little Ray J song. Oh, I kiss you through the phone. Yeah, I was out that nigga. Yeah, you know I miss you. Because I know you I, I, I didn't fucking know because it was like back in the day with Facebook, all your um inboxes would be in your email. So everything they say in you will come in your email. So she printed up like everything and then dropped Ooh. it on the table. And everything that I received, she she had right there on, on, on the table. And shit, what can you say? 
Like, ain't nothing you can say. So yeah, that's why I had to go ahead and play at Ray J. <laughs> Motherfucker car and voice like, I messed shit. up, baby. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I never do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure, for sure. So uh, with y'all music, I know y'all y'all drop some singles and stuff. But when y'all plan on dropping a whole project? Right. We question. talked about You're that. We talked about that at the uh, <laughs> last what? video shoot. We said we was gonna do like a collab uh, tape. Mm-hmm. All three of y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if so, we get more, we can. Like yeah. we we love female coming together. Definitely. Yeah, and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, that's one thing I always ask ladies who be on the show. Like, why is it so hard for uh, for women to work together in the city? Like, you see all these dudes working mm-hmm. together, but and you see dudes working with other female artists, but you never see like females working together as as a whole. What do you think the problem is with that? I feel like we all can get this money. I don't know. I feel like everybody got that. I, I, I've met a lot of people with, like, different styles yeah. and stuff like that. So you got to find somebody that's, like... But I we've met, like, a lot of cool mm-hmm. females. Yeah. Stuff. Like, people that come support, we come support them and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So it is basically, like, getting in the studio and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. so, yeah, everybody's timing just got to be right. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so it's going to be an EP? It's going to be some short, some long, like... Um, it's probably most likely an EP. Mm-hmm. Definitely. How many songs y'all got recorded right now that y'all haven't even released yet? Sure, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I know you, you sent me about. Archive. I know you had sent me about probably about ten tracks or whatever. And if y'all hear Granddad up there, that nigga, that, we in the hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hoods podcast. That nigga up there gossiping and shit, man, talking crazy. <laughs> um, let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, she got a lot of people. <laughs> Four. So is this like stuff that y'all haven't released because y'all just ain't, ain't ready for it or it ain't done or it's got to be some finishing touches put to it? Um, No, everything that we have to release is pretty much um, done. It's mm-hmm. just about um, like... Timing. Yeah, time, mm-hmm. like pushing the stuff that we already have out. Mm-hmm. So... Um, like when when I release stuff, like I don't just want to like put it out there. I want to have like a marketing a plan, plan yeah, for sure. behind it. So I want to be able to like have the video. Um, I want to be able to have the uh, money set aside for like the vlog sites mm-hmm. uh, to like put it out there mm-hmm. so that we can get you know actual like clicks and stuff. Yeah. And then you know every once in a while I'll like I'll throw some like music out there is, that's just like something like i want people to hear mm-hmm. um, but yeah like but, when i when i put stuff out like i want to be like very strategic with mm-hmm. it yeah so. for sure no it ain't nothing wrong with just go ahead as long as you got that whatever you promoting you constantly put in in people's faces and shit like that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you shit, you can't go no wrong with it now you know i always ask everybody if they want to rap when they get on the show <laughs> <laughs> you agree Oh, your, your, your counterpart is like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna hide y'all at you. She's definitely the. Um, All right, lyricist. bet. So, we, you, you sent the beat over. We got the beat. So, we're gonna get to it. Shit. Y'all, you ready? Shout out Tuesday, man. You already know we got Tane Kelly in the building, man. Tane yeah. Gang in this motherfucker, man. You already know what it is. Shit. Yeah, shout out Tuesday and shit, man. We got the background. <laughs> Guns don't excite me, I'm not the shooter type I'm the slasher tie, set shit on fire, knife to the windpipe Move slow, not in a rush, let's take our time and while we at it Bitch, empty your pockets, need every dime They be like, tang, you fucking crazy I hear that shit every time, the voices tell me, show no mercy I cannot ignore them, guys, my face is sweet as pie Perfect disguise, works every time, you think I'm crazy Nah, I'm just getting started, they reach my prime Nigga, yeah, he love my gangsta ass Got a pretty face and I love money, gotta get it fast Niggas say they love me and I hit them with the we won't last I'm short-tempered gangsta, bitch, now run me that cash Tang got a gun, she might play with it for fun And when that time come for her to shoot, you better run When it come time to hit, she might tag you on your shit It go duck, 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 you the goose off in this bitch I hit a lick to be a broke bitch Then I got up off my ass To be that billion dollar bitch Fuck is being broke When you got three kids Fuck being broke Bitch you got three Talking to myself like I'm crazy Bright mo bitch Cold nights no sleep Turn that bitch to a savage I used to run through them alleys 5 a.m. back in June My mama writing me letters I'm sorry mom see you soon Stay
stealth mode in the forest I caught little red slip and I put a knife to her back and said give me them goodies she shook her head step back and she reached in a hoodie that's when I paused step back cause that shit kinda shook me big bad ass wolf my hair is matted and nappy my skin is tatted plus I'm hungry so that makes me unhappy I call red on her phone and said give me that Addy or I pull up on my shit nigga and kidnap your granny Fuck shit, damn it, we'll kidnap your granny Blow her brains out and then empty out her pantry Tried on all her wigs and even put on all her panties And no one can say the day because I killed the vigilantes Yes, I am the villain, bad influence for children I'm an arsonist, so I'm a sister, that we burn down this here building Uh, hey. yeah, uh, keep going, hold on Oh shit, go ahead, my bad, uh, 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 uh Vigilante rescue my insanity Not a bird or a plane, well who can it be? It's the spitter who only speaks in profanities Green eyed mocks the spinach and a can of peas Vodka vodka help me, can you fucking please? Use your bit of powers to put my mind at ease The monster's gripping my head and he's finna squeeze me While I'm losing my grip on this reality Comic Con, imaginary entities If you got spare change, can you spend it please? A little something something so I can purchase wings And a sidekick to answer when I fucking ring Hopefully smart and not incompetent won't expose me and so the secrets kept the city needs a hero and this is my attempt the city needs a hero and this is my attempt yeah. hey <laughs> i'm stuck on you trying granny's pennies over here okay hey. <laughs> granny's hey. pennies we got both of the tag kelly a little dope little you know what i'm saying Appreciate you yeah, coming on the show, yeah, rapper. I, I can take a shot now. Oh yeah, take a shot. Oh yeah, shit, take man. a shot. Damn, shit. Is that your? Fu- is that from the first? <laughs> yeah, that's the first one. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. I don't awesome. get drunk <laughs> and like got... rap. Uh, no. Oh, oh, so you wait till afterwards? Yeah, I wait till afterwards. Hell yeah, dog. Good shot, shit, man. Good shot. Hell yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 that was that was dope, shit, man. You be, see, but now you see why I be thinking like, yeah, you ain't nobody to be fucking with like, mm-hmm. as far as like real life and shit. Like you be you, but that was dope. Like so. You going to more freestyle? I think you should do more freestyles on your page, too. More freestyle? Yeah, sure. I, yeah, I'm going to do that. I just, I just be, when I have people on the show, I be feeling like, I feel like you, y'all dope or whatever, so I just want y'all, you know what I'm saying, continue to run that shit up and make sure y'all ain't motherfuckers faces and shit. Cause a lot I appreciate that. Yeah, because a lot of people, you see a lot of people, they do music and they just be on, on chill mode, but shit, you got to just keep on, keep on, because like you said, there's a thousand motherfuckers who try to rap every day. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas be trash, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it do be a lot of trash people, but you know what I'm saying? You just got to be consistent and make sure you motherfucking outshine all these other motherfuckers that's putting music out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's just a little bit words of wisdom from Shad. <laughs> Thank you, so, appreciate it. Who's some people from the city that y'all want to work with and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, y'all want to go ahead and collab mm-hmm. with? I, I love Nisha Nache. Yeah. I need a singing girl to come on one of the songs. Okay. If Nisha not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, you, yeah, you, you yeah, mess around to Nisha, Nisha man. for sure. Mm-hmm. What about y'all? Who's some people y'all want to work with? Um, in the city, you know me. I want to collab with the ladies. Like I would love mm-hmm. to work with uh, like Blueprint Bentley. Okay, like, yeah, she's a very it. dope artist. Uh, you know, of course, like Detroit Diamond, I would love mm-hmm. to get on the track with her Shout as well. Shout out to Detroit Diamond. Yeah, what up, cuz? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Supporting. You know how we rock. She be cleaning. She be doing everything. She mm-hmm. clean. Motherfucker acting, rapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hooping. Uh, who else? Hooping. Wait, it's, uh, this is artist. Her name is Trill World. Mm-hmm. Oh, I is, love her. Yes. She from here? That's my girl. Yeah, she from mm-hmm. here. She, uh, Ooh, be singing. I'm going to her song after this. Yeah, yeah. my dear, yeah, get hip to her. I, so. thought it was, I thought it was a song that was already out in the river that she I was I was asking you like mm-hmm. ain't this a song I yeah, it's like, a, she I, was, yeah mm-hmm. I just song, but she made the song I was like okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what about some who's some fellas y'all want to work with from the city fellas um <clears throat> Uh, Babyface Ray. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and speak to existing because I'm sure. trying to move to LA. Yeah. <laughs> this come on. Yeah. What about y'all? Y'all not, nobody in particular. Um. Hell no. I thought we could make a hype song with Sada Baby or something. Oh, yeah. Sada. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, speaking of the guys, do have, since y'all been doing this music shit, have guys used music to try to get on y'all? Yes. <laughs> yeah. How y'all often do that happen? A lot. Like, <laughs> it's 
in the DM. After a performance or something, they'll hit you up like, mm-hmm. we need to work. work. You need to stop playing with me. Or something like that. <laughs> like, come on, guys. You gonna work. Is we yeah. working or is you trying to talk to me? That's what you like, oh, get those good morning queen, grand rising, mm-hmm. all that bullshit. Yeah. Man, okay. <laughs> I'm quite sure. That's why I say I know it gotta be tough for uh, for uh, female rappers and singers from the city. Like, niggas be like, oh, man, you dope. Let's, let's work. Let's see you know niggas. Oh, let's 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 try to do other things too. Right. Like. <laughs> Some niggas said ten dollars a session yeah. or something like that. It was crazy to me because I'm like, okay, yeah, ain't no ten dollars. Right. Uh, you ain't doing it for no ten dollars. Ten dollars, nigga. Shit. It was $10. You go do some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, do you feel like you've been re- y'all been receiving like like love from the from the city, or do y'all feel like y'all need to move away from the city at, at some point if y'all don't get the love that y'all deserve? I feel like we have been receiving love. Every time we like do a performance, it's a lot of people hitting us up on Instagram trying to collab or like telling us that our music good or when we gonna drop this so they can download mm-hmm. on Apple Music or any other streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, like every time we perform and stuff, like move, bitch. Like every time we're done performing, we hear the cr- like people in the crowd saying move, bitch. Mm-hmm. Like yes. like parts of our courses and stuff like that. Or like woke up today, like Daniel, mm-hmm. man, bitch, good morning, good evening. They'll be like good morning, good yeah. evening. Like, yeah, they commented yeah. on our like. Post that we post. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell but yeah. But I do. But if mm-hmm. if I do want to start like traveling, and performing. If, if I don't know, I feel like other cities would have performances. How like the little performances we have in the city. Mm-hmm. Like I want to do like, that. See how they feel stuff. it and stuff like that. We yeah, gonna we gonna we gonna go to Casper, Wyoming. Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> now, uh, Tan, you've been rapping a little a little longer than uh your other two uh other two homies and shit. But mm-hmm. was there a time you said you want to say fuck this music shit? Um, yes, when I had writer's block, Mm -hmm. like back, I think it was like from that time in middle school. So in middle Mm -hmm. school, I was like writing raps every single day. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, like all the words just like went out of my head. Yeah, you couldn't think of shit. Couldn't think of nothing. So I had uh, quit that and then I had like got into like acting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was like trying to be on Disney Channel. (laughs) (laughs) She made it. Huh? Actually. Oh, yeah, you know, I what did. The, what, the, what the hell you was on? What? No, I wasn't on yeah. anything, but I couldn't afford to, like, uh, pretty much, like, fly out to mm-hmm. L.A. Okay. Very to, like, expensive. meet with the uh, agents and stuff. Okay, so. okay, okay. So, that's some shit you still want to do, getting your acting bag? Maybe it might be a little hard now because I got like tattoos like, yeah. on my face. Girl, makeup. Like, every. Oh, yeah, yeah, every yeah. Word, yeah, so. yeah. You can do one of these, you know, hood movies and shit, man. Oh, that, yeah, that yeah. is the goal. Like, I want to be in a Detroit, yeah. like, hood movie. Hey, me too. Okay. Who, who you want to be? I want to be third number two. <laughs> 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 I want to yeah, be, be, yeah, be, yeah, be, uh, uh, cussing, the lady cussing her baby daddy out. Man, <laughs> all right, we gonna, we gonna make this, <laughs> no, this one we do, hey, anybody out there who want to make a movie with us, we all got to be in it. Okay. okay. That's the crazy okay, baby mama. Yeah. You crazy baby mama too, or you said you want to cuss somebody, cuss somebody out? I just want to cuss somebody out. Like, I bet. I just want. I just want to be third number two. I. I want to have a gun, back. man. Put that shit down, cuz. Mm. So I want to say, mm. put that shit down, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> when I just want a hard ass cussing line. Like fuck you, cuz. Like nigga, what? Then fuck you. And then they, you could kill me or I kill you. I go to jail, whichever one. Mm. Like <laughs> go to jail. Yeah. Die. Yeah. <laughs> Die. Go to jail, that motherfucker dog. Hopefully, I'm happy real life. Not go. Oh, you know what somebody right. should do? Mm-hmm. Somebody should make a uh, like a hood scary movie. No, yeah, for sure. we don't got Just one. Uh, we don't. But like, we do it like slasher style. Do it slasher style. Well, where funny everybody die. Doing? Yeah, everybody die like one by one. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody survive. Yeah, that was a good idea. We be hey, we could do a podcast with nigga. Come the bitch. We die, nigga. Stab us, like <laughs> stab you and nigga. Right. Right. <laughs> Duh, funny as hell, dog. Yeah, we, look, come on, Thomas Harris, man. You out there? You, you with Moolah Films? T, come on, man. Do a movie with us, man. I just want to. I just want to be a thug. That's all. So, uh, <laughs> making a band. I don't, y'all ever seen making a band growing up? Mm-hmm. Slightly. It's about okay. what? Diddy. I say the wrong name. Yeah, Diddy. Diddy right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is what I want y'all to do. Each one of y'all include yourself and four other band members to complete this band for one album. It could be singers, rappers, or producers. Yourself and four other people. Mm. Talk to me. I'm going to go first. We, we yeah, can each other in it. Right. Okay, so I want to like a... Well, y'all... y'all Y'all be as a whole, oh, so y'all oh, together. Yeah, y'all together, but y'all want to include four people. But each one of y'all groups gonna be different. Okay, I'll go ahead. Cause that's not. 
Uh, oh, okay. go ahead. You want to oh, do something? So I gotta, I gotta choose like a, a producer. You could do however you want: producer, singers, or rappers. Producer, singers, or rappers. We just do individual. You and four other people. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah, okay. we do like that then. You and four other people. Okay. And it can't be. Uh, it can you, be somebody else. Yep, gotta be somebody else. Um. Okay. So if I was to choose four people, mm -hmm. um, it would be. I would have Missy Elliott. Okay, that's a good Ooh, choice. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So you and Missy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I would have For Real. All right. I would have uh, Tyler. Okay, Tyler Creator. The Creator. So you need one more person. And your uh, band's complete. And I need one more person. Tang Gang uh, Band. Probably, like... Rex Orange County. I don't know who that is. I gotta get him to that. I gotta get him to that. Is he a rapper? No, he like he like a uh, like a singer. Okay, yeah. all right. So that's your that's your group. Rich, you, Pharrell, who you Missy and um and um what's your Tyler? All right, what about mm. you? Uh, here you go last. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Nini. Okay, it's the Nini band. So I'm gonna do London on the track. Right, you got you you got your beats on there. Okay, I'm gonna do Summer, Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna do Tink and Dreezy. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Nice little band. Yeah. You was ready for this question. Yeah. You used to probably have, you probably answered the fast as I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna have. Hear me out. All right. It's right. the P band. So I'm gonna have <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> oh, she, she going up. She, she going crazy. Not me. I'm have Megan. Oh, okay. Here. All right. I'm have Saucy Santana. Oh, okay. you have a Saucy. Okay, Saucy Santana. I need one more. <laughs> Saucy Santana is going up, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my wife be listening to him. I be, I be, turn this nigga up. I need, no. a, I need, a, I need a man. Who can I have? I don't know. Um, you got Beyonce. You got uh, you said Meg. Uh -huh. You, motherfucking Saucy Santana. Who's that fourth member to complete this band? I don't know. Who, 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 the Tanisha who, who, P. Good. Band. Good. Oh, sure. Oh, you, yeah. You already did Beyonce, baby. Might as well bring it back. Yeah, I'm going to say Usher. Usher. <laughs> right, bad, 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 bad. Now, what's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? Some shit as a young and you believed in that you don't believe in. Uh... Um, give me an example. Example. All right, I always. <laughs> example, when I was young. You could never, I could never, I would never uh, think that I would be eating a girl's vagina. Oh, <laughs> oh. Older me. When I was younger. <laughs> bring, bring, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That, that's an example. Okay. Like, or <laughs> when, <laughs> when you were young, I was in the streets in the club. Like, hell yeah. I never, I never ever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, be no family man. Now I'm a family man. Family man. Or I never leave the hood. Now I'm older. Fuck the hood. Oh, so that we wouldn't, we don't. Some, we some shit that you don't agree with. Your, your younger self, like yourself now, don't agree with what you was thinking at eighteen. Y'all go first. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I didn't think being a an adult would be yeah hard. Y'all yeah. not saying spicy stuff. That's what you want. <laughs> oh, that's what you're gonna be? oh, spicy stuff. It gotta uh, be spicy, but you know, so you want know, spicy, it's always good. I didn't think I was gonna have a baby. Yeah. That's a good one. This young, because I'm only twenty three. I think that's young. Yeah. Oh yeah, like to be this young, yeah, this yeah, yeah. that young, but yeah, that that's gonna be thirty. We old, though. <laughs> thirty. <laughs> Shoot, I didn't think that. It's hard. Shoot, it's hard. <laughs> um, cause I didn't, I didn't did so much. I can know you. What's some shit? What's some I, shit? I always thought that you had. I I was gonna wait till marriage to. Mm -hmm. Oh, to, to uh, do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what changed your mind? You was, was curious, or you was like? No, I was just, just got in college. Yeah, it was like it's time, it's time. <laughs> like that ain't gonna happen. I, ho I, ho I, ho <laughs> hey, I hope I die when she get older. If you see this when you get older, I know you too right now. But yeah, please wait. <laughs> please. <laughs> Shoot, I didn't think I was gonna be able to drive. Yeah. Oh my I didn't god, think I was either. Either. I didn't think I was. Man, did y'all get y'all? How old was y'all when y'all got your license? 18, 19, 18 or 19. Niggas, do niggas still get licenses at, at 16? 16, right? That was crazy. People, I always thought I was training. I was like, that's child. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> man, I definitely didn't. My son, he want to he wanna take driver training. I'm like, nigga, wait till you're 18. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drop your yeah, ass. Right. <laughs> 
what what what's your definition of success? Like when you all said done, what's your definition of success? Happy. It's not all about money, but being financially stable, happy, mm -hmm. not ashamed of who you are, mm -hmm. being able to be by yourself and still be happy and alone. Like I think that's success. Good answer, girl. Good answer, Nene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like your answer, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all? What y'all say? What y'all? What y'all definition of a good success? Um, I, so my definition is like doing whatever it is that you like set out to do. Mm -hmm. So, um, a lot of people like to um group success with like how much money you make. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. That's not like my definition of success like mm -hmm. success is you know that school teacher that wakes up you know every morning mm -hmm. and sure. you know teaches them kids because that's yeah, what she, she wanted to do yeah for sure you know? hell yeah now with the music Definitely. will you all see the music going in two years and we all see that shit going in five years like short-term goals versus long-term goals i feel like we just gonna blow up out of nowhere yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. then they can rewind this shit and see mm -hmm. if you was on my show first and shit like, mm -hmm. shout like we gonna first. put some out or or something that we already came out with it's gonna catch on you know some yeah. stuff some people be having stuff out for years and mm -hmm. they catch on later 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 mm -hmm. on so i feel like we just gonna be like wake up in the morning like that hell yeah we Damn, on Hell yeah, shit. If I, if I get put, I'm going to cry on this motherfucker. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Right here, oh, y'all. Yeah. Uh -huh. Podcast. Hell yeah, we all going to cry together, shit. Mm, it's in the works. <laughs> definitely, like, definitely, like, I feel like as long as we keep it in our mind every day that, like, this is yeah. what we want to do, like, it's no it's way, mm -hmm. it's like, happen. we can fail. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I, I got a question for you real quick. What made you uh do a, go ahead, cut your hair, because I've noticed on your older pictures you had long hair. All that junk, you was long and long hair, no, don't care. Green. What huh? made you? What made you? What made you cut your hair? It's okay, color. it's green. The kids said it was green. green. Okay. <laughs> um. So See. what made me cut my hair? So uh, before I had like long hair, mm. my hair was like probably butt. past the middle. Yeah, almost to my butt. Mm. Um. But then I had uh, I had my daughter, and then I had my twins. And when I had my twins, I had like very like terrible like postpartum you know mm -hmm. depression or whatever yeah that's real and sometimes like when you get depressed like it gets so bad to the point where like you 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 know you stop taking care of yourself so i stopped like combing my hair i stopped brushing it until one day it was this big matted like mess yeah. or whatever so when i got to a point where i couldn't comb through it I was just like i'm finna shave my head mm -hmm. and my sister was like no don't do that just like cut it so we had like cut it and then I had like put it into locks um w was still not in a position to like take care of the locks mm -hmm. so uh I had this weird like anxiety thing where I would like pick up my hair so I started like pulling the locks out and it was a big old like ball awesome. patch mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. right here so then I was like I'm just about to shave it off yeah. so then like she uh took the clippers cut it yeah. and yeah, my she how. made me cut it every single time she <laughs> wanted to cut her hair. I'm like, besides yesterday, I don't know what she was doing yesterday with the clippers. Oh yeah, <laughs> what's right? Oh, she had, so and she had the guard on her mother cut it up. <laughs> Somebody said something to me about that. <laughs> I didn't like, see it. What you do? Post something? No, no. So I have posted this video. I'm like, Eric, can you, um, cause you know I be trying to like shoot content or whatever. So I'm like, can you give me like shaving my head? Not knowing that I'm like holding the clippers the completely like the wrong <laughs> way, <laughs> and he was like, "You." He said something like, "You're uh, why are you holding the clippers like that?" Uh, okay. Blah blah blah. And then I looked. I'm like, "We was just. You didn't have to like put that out there. Like, yeah. that. like we was just everybody. Yeah. Everybody, everybody yeah. noticed. Everybody knew. <laughs> oh, you got the guards up. Yeah, what the hell she doing, cuz? But I really do like her hair like this. Yes. I love How many people be like, "Oh, you like Jay Pickett from Shut It Off?" Uh, everybody says that all the time. All the time. Yeah. People say that to me. Hell yeah, yeah. What's that? J. Alicia Pickett? Keys. That, that was my name in college, Jada. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what in the world? I don't see it. Alicia Keys or Jada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you said you got twins. So I know you love your kids, but how, like, when you first seen that you having twins, how hurt would you? Like, damn, I got twins? <laughs> like, cause that shit, I would be crying. Like, fuck, two miles? No, nah, it took them. I, so I had a feeling, which is why I say, trust your gut feeling. I'm like, this is not a normal 
pregnancy. Like, I'm like, I feel like I'm having twins. So I kept going to the doctors. They're like, no, nah, it's just one kid. I'm like, mm. I'm like, no. Nah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take y'all word for it. <laughs> so, like, months later, I had went back, and it was like, wow. Because I'm like, I'm like, why am I so sick? Mm-hmm. And they was like, oh, you're so sick because you have two instead of one. I'm like, I've been telling. These niggas the whole time. I remember when I found out. It was crazy. <laughs> Man, I would have been hurt. Like, I would cry. Like, yeah, that's what I don't want. Man, mm-hmm. hell no. Nah. Now, we do this thing called versus. I give you two categories, two things, two people. You tell me who will win. Y'all can all answer this shit. I don't think nobody. Wait, you said we do what? It's a versus battle. Mm-hmm. So I'll give y'all two, two people, two things. Two places, whatever. Y'all tell me who will win between the two. Okay? Okay. So, two things, two people, whatever I give y'all, y'all tell me who will win. Okay. All right. Summertime gear versus fall gear. Fall gear. Summer. Fall. Okay. Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> give me, uh, hang, hanging in the streets or hanging in the, at the crib? At the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I had to second right. that up streets. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight versus nightlife. Night. Night. All right. White liquor versus dark liquor. We, you know, we like. Yeah. White, white, white. All right. Give me uh, Usher versus Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Usher. Chris Brown. I would say, yeah, she's smart, man. Yes. <laughs> Chris. Uh, I don't know. Usher. I don't know. All right. Mm-hmm. Versus I don't know. Chris. Give me um, soul food versus seafood. Oh, Ooh. I hate seafood. Ah, that's a seafood. hard one. Seafood. Mm. Like yeah, I like seafood. Okay, give me Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. Uh, Christmas. I feel like My Christmas th- is th- th- Christmas is a upgrade Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, cause I gotta spend my money on Christmas Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Give me uh, sober sex versus drunk sex. Sober drunk. sex. Drunk. <laughs> no. I feel like uh, drunk sex. Girl, that's me. That's what you can't feel. What is drunk. it? Is it not drunk? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> no, it gotta be, um, but it gotta be a buzz set. It can't be drunk set. Uh, see, not your drunk. <laughs> okay. Normal drunk. All right. Not my drunk. All right. <laughs> Give me a comedy movie versus drama. Comedy. Uh, mm, I like the drama. Like, you, I, a lot of comedy's not funny, so I, I say like, if yeah. it, if it's a funny comedy, comedy. Give me tall versus short. Tall. tall. Okay. Yeah. You know, you yeah. short. Tall. Yeah. Give me a uh, in person game versus DM game. In person. In person. I don't like social media. Turn comedy. They, yeah, they might catfish you. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me um. Give me chicken breast versus chicken wings. Chicken wing. Wing. That tough ass meat. <laughs> Wings. Wings. Give me cabbage versus collard greens. Cabbage. Collard greens. Mm. I'm gonna say collard greens, depending on who make it. Okay. Do, do, do y'all, y'all into TV shows like old school shows? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me Martin versus Fresh Prince. Martin. Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Martin. She, she, don't, no. she knows y'all something. Tripping. What? Martin. I don't think do you agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Every episode of Martin is funny. Yeah. Martin is Every not that episode. funny. Fresh Prince is a classic. It is. Crazy. But Martin funny for sure. Martin is Martin. You tripping? Maybe roast the uncle. For sure. yeah. <laughs> right. right. It's funny too. Fresh Prince. Give me a. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Jamie Foxx versus Wayne Brothers. Jamie. What Wayne? I'm sorry. I think Wayne Brothers. <laughs> I think Wayne Brothers. <laughs> Wayne Brothers because it's a scary <laughs> movie. Like no, she's talking about the the show. Oh, the show. Yeah. yeah. Wayne, Wayne Brothers. I think Wayne Brothers. <laughs> Oh, y'all are tripping. You, you know what I'm thinking about? about I want to think about Jamie Foxx. I'm yes. thinking about one on one. But <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Wayne Brothers. No, 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 yeah, Wayne, Wayne Brothers. Hell yeah, you're right. What you say? Mm, I'm going to say Wayne Brothers just because I can't like really remember any. Are you Duh. okay? Jamie yeah. Foxx was funny as hell. That was funny as hell. Give me uh, Boys in the Hood versus Menace to Society. Boys in the Hood. So just because I, I haven't watched. Uh, Minister Society all the way through. Oh shoot! What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I am very bad at watching movies. Yeah, like, I, I can't pay attention. I just give me, good, give me Vezo versus Peasy. I don't know. Peasy. I choose Peasy. I'm gonna say Vezo just because I listen to I'm him more Peasy. than mm-hmm. Peasy. I love them both. Okay. Give me uh, Eastside Music versus Westside Music. 
West Side, because I'm from the West Side. East side music. East side music. Yeah, you got it. Just because you're from the other side, east side music. Give me uh, yo young self versus yourself now. So 17, Ooh, 18 year old now. you versus you. you I, know. Yeah, myself now. Now. I love myself now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm more expressive now. Yes, I'm right. definitely. This is the last one. You want that pussy eight or that ass eight? <laughs> 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 Everybody can't eat pussy, but you can't go, never go wrong with eating ass. You can't miss the spot if you eat that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's yeah. good. <laughs> to choose. You, 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 you agree? Yeah. Right. yeah. Tank. Booty. Okay. <laughs> that booty. All right, I'm, uh, just, y'all ain't gonna answer this question, but the first time that happened to y'all, how did y'all feel? Like, what was it? New experience? Like, first of all, I, I never knew that was a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it either until COVID hit. I know before that. That's probably when work. people started doing it when COVID hit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We was born in the crib. Like, yeah, we had the I was like, that's part of a sexual interaction. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Uh-uh. Would you? Would you a little nervous at first? Like, what you doing, cuz? Mm-hmm. Your mom might be watching this shit. That's not asking this question. <laughs> oh, she did want to watch it. <laughs> Mama, we didn't say none of this. This ain't even <laughs> him. This, 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 this ain't him, but this is Nene. Yeah. <laughs> now, at the end, we always do everything. Drunk moment or a high moment or both. A Ooh, time when you were drunk, high or both. Just a funny story, quick little hitter, quick story. <laughs> a story? Yeah. Oh, they gonna be decide what's going on. Maybe you were drunk, high or both. Just like a quick little story. So one time I had ate I got a story. too many mushrooms. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It yeah. was it was terrible it was embarrassing to me like nobody else noticed that like something was going on except for me mm-hmm. but uh we was at like this little open mic show mm-hmm. and i had bought like two eighths mm-hmm. of like the shrooms or whatever so i don't know why like i ate both bags <laughs> you look, you and, look crazy. like usually it's i guess it's it usually take about like 45 minutes to an hour to kick in mm. So it kicked in in seven minutes. Yeah. So, like, I'm sitting there, like, look, I'm like, okay, this is, like, fast. So I keep running, like, in and out of the building. I keep running outside, back inside, outside, back inside. So I'm like, let me go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. I look at the floor, and the floor looks like it's made out of glass. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So I, cu- I go back to Nisha. I'm like, Nisha, we have to go home. Right. That was that time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we need to go home right now. We didn't even get to perform. I can't. I got up. Damn, so you left, for real? Yes, we had to leave. I'm like, she like, uh, can you say your lines? Say your lines right now. So I said my verse or whatever. She was like, you good to go? I'm like, nah, we need to leave right now. <laughs> we stayed there for a long ass time waiting, too. <laughs> so I called I call my cousin. I'm like, you need to... Can you can you tell Nisha we need to go right now? Yeah. So we go, we like driving home. I get to my neighborhood. Every single house in the neighborhood had turned into like a hologram. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So like uh-huh. to where like you could see like through every single house yeah. in the neighborhood. Duh. So I'm like, all right. So I um get home and I like immediately like run and like get in my bed and i'm like under the covers mm. and it got to a point where like i had melted <laughs> into the cover so i'm like i'm i couldn't tell the difference between my body the cover the that was on top of me and the bed oh it felt like we God. was all mushed oh. into like one thing so oh, shit. i go to like grab my phone and when the phone like sh- when the light shines like my hand had turned into like some sort of lizard hand or whatever. Oh shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm scared. I'm like, okay, what I need to do is I need to get up and take a shower. Mm-hmm. It took so much like courage for me to like build up the courage to get up and to get in the shower. So I finally get up and I look up at the stairs and all of a sudden the stairs go <laughs> like like it's like you 70, 70, 70 mm-hmm. stairs or something. <laughs> And then it turns in. I don't know if y'all ever played like uh, this game called like Resident Evil. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the whole house turned into like a Resident <laughs> Evil looking game. Oh my! God. Like everything looked like a video game. And I ran back. I ran back to my bed and got under the covers. It took me three times to like go 
get in the shower and like take a shower. So mm -hmm. after I took a shower, I, I felt fine. I got stuck in a time loop though. Like Ooh, I before I did I get in the shower, like <laughs> it felt like I two minutes went by, but it felt like six hours. Like every time I looked at my phone, it was like the same time, time and I couldn't tell like what the numbers were. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> on my phone like what do these numbers mean like what is this Duh. yeah so huh with that mushrooms like that's something you take often no nah, it's just like something uh like every like it's like a once a year type thing yeah like a one, once a year oh, let me try it again let me try it right. again <laughs> yeah you do but you do it's like it's like you you have to take it in like moderation and you actually mm -hmm. like you can't take it to turn up Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's not like a turn up like yeah. type thing at all. And yeah. if you do try to like turn up, it'll definitely like humble you. But when you take it, like, do you gotta be in the right mindset? Like, you can't be stressed out because I heard like if it'd be a bad trip if you like stressed out about life or something that's going on. That's a myth, cause I was as happy as can be when I took them that day. <laughs> yeah, Yo, ass is melting, like. God damn, I, I, I just want to see how and it feels. And then it's been it's been times where I've been like super you know depressed and i took them it was and i felt like the best mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like i it was a confidence booster so you just eat the mushroom like i could be seeing people with that shit like you just eat it yeah i yeah. just eat it they got like candy bars and stuff yeah that that's what mike tyson i'll be seeing him having that shit on yeah. the show like, but hey, it's it's definitely like show. he got podcasts and he just did it on the show and shit he was fucked up him and the game the rapper the game you want to do a mushroom one day though yeah, I would never do that shit again. Dude, I, think, I, I think I want to be alone because the one time I had edible and my my uh my. Oh no, it's not the same as the edible. It's oh, like totally no. different. Okay, because my son was scaring me. Just do it. Don't smoke. I think <laughs> that nigga scaring the fuck out of me, dog. That nigga about to rob me. I'm gonna be like, I'm like I'm with no problems, old homie. That nigga about four years old. He kept jumping. That shit. Like, what the fuck this nigga doing? I told my oldest son like, dog, watch your brother. Like, where you going? I'm like, nowhere, nigga. Get this nigga away from me. That nigga had me shook. I'm like, I was in the bed running. Like, I, you know, how you laying down in the bed, my feet. Like this, like. I mean, that bitch like, what the fuck is going on? I'm about to make a Facebook status saying like, how am I about to die, I love everybody. <laughs> I made videos. For real. Like y'all. Alright, y'all tell me about what, what the fuck happened with y'all. I don't know. You can put the camera. What? Alright. You must be fucked up. I wanted. I wasn't. I don't know. I didn't think I was that fucked up. I just fucking this. So I, it was just one time I was in my friend's house. And I brought my own little personal bottle because I was just going over there chill. They already had. They were drinking dark. And yeah. I don't drink dark. So I had my own little personal bottle. So I was just drinking it. And she wanted me to drop her off at home. So I was driving her home and I was in like the, you know, the little U-turn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was like, oh my God, wait, I got to stop at the gas station. So the gas station was like right across the street. So yeah. I'm like, I'm not about to make a U-turn go all the way around. <laughs> so I'm trying to back up in the U-turn thing. Duh. <laughs> like on 8 Mile Hill, you go like like that? Like, yeah. Oh, like I was trying to back up in the U-turn thing and I turned my wheel and I pressed the gas way too fast. So I'm on the damn island. Yeah. Driving. I I drove on the island, but it was a pole right there. It was a stop. It was a sign. Yeah. So the whole side of my car fucked up. You not the pole down, shit. I don't know where the pole went. Duh. You should have told him about the freeway on the way to Big Rapids on the way home. Okay. Well, we Everybody about to drink. I forgot you was in the car. Yeah, I need you not to drink. Yeah. <laughs> That's not. No, I was just Are tired. You I, I was tired. Oh, so you you one of those drinkers that get like no, messed up off the little shit? No, oh, okay. no. Well, so you fucked up right now, then. <laughs> <laughs> no. She sees it. I was She's tired. Yeah. Yeah. So I rolled onto the side of the gas station, like, cause my car was. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't steer the wheel. So I was just driving, and then my friend got out. She just started pushing my car to the side. I'm like, I'm just screaming. Cause every time something, everything, every time something happens to my car, I just start screaming. <laughs> So then I'm calling my dad like, oh, what's so They come pick me up. We go home. Nikwa had to put my wig on because she was sober. And act like she was you. Yeah, just in case police was there. Because, <laughs> you know, we the same height and we kind of, I don't know. Y'all looking like. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, that was the thing. So you was you was you was you was Tanisha P and shit this motherfucker like. Yeah. <laughs> I still got the picture. She, she had the wig mess. on. The wig was fucked up. Wig. I'm like, duh. Put this wig on, girl. My dad. My <laughs> how, how would your hair look without the wig? You had a little durette side cap on. Like, uh, <laughs> I think I was had to slick to the back. It was a headband yeah. wig. You know, we be having a little stack cap. Oh uh, yeah. It wasn't that type of wig. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I don't know about wigs and shit. What about you, <laughs> Nidia? Like, you, what, what's your drunk shit? Mine would be the only first and only time I blacked out. 
And that was when, well, I woke up in my friend's car, but I didn't realize it was her car. Yeah. So I panicked. I had no phone. I didn't know what was going on. I got out the car, started walking the block. And it was like a white van <laughs> came and asked me, you good, honey? You need anything? You need me to come take you where you want to go? That's the wrong van. Wrong van. Yeah. So I'm like, no, I used her phone to call somebody, but they ain't answer. So I'm still confused. It was like two minutes later, she came back around. At this point, she got out the car. So I think she tried to take me. But <laughs> no. no, I was like, no, nah, this is the house right here. So I tried to act like I was going into some house. So she didn't come get me. And then my friend came out their house and was like, we over here. Where you at? And then, <laughs> Duh. And then I just tiptoed my ass right to that shit. But that was the only time I would ever. What, what, what like would you on? I was that shit, that bourbon shit. What was that? What's that? The dark, whatever dark. <laughs> it was bourbon. I was mixing. It was tequila, bur oh, bourbon, vodka. Yeah, like, it was a whole bunch of shit. He was tripping. Was tripping. He was tripping like a Never again. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, y'all some, some funny stories with wigs and fucking mm -hmm. melting and fucking white van kidnapping. <laughs> like, y'all had some shit. For real, I appreciate y'all a good story because these niggas be on this bitch telling some weak stories. Like, yeah, I got drunk and I blacked out. Shit, that was it. <laughs> Damn, nigga, we, should, we ain't had to even listen to that. <laughs> like, like, you didn't give me no detail, no nothing and shit. But no, nah, I appreciate y'all coming on the podcast and shit, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna blow up for sure because y'all was on the best podcast in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all pop off and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna replay this. Like, yeah, it was on my show first, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but y'all wanna right. get some people some uh, motivation words to leave leave off the show? Um, Definitely don't drink and drive. You're right. Yeah, don't yeah. drink and drive. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, take that chance. That thing that you scared to do mm -hmm. might be that thing that make you pop off. You know? sure. So yeah. take that chance and stop being scared mm -hmm. and stop saying I'm gonna do it the next mm -hmm. day. Do it Ooh, today. Yeah, stop procrastinating. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm gonna say start today. Whatever you do, consistent. Be disciplined. And you're going to be there. Imagine what you would be 30 days from now, 60 days, and then 90 days. Sure. Now it's a habit, and now it's your lifestyle. So, start today. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. What about you, Tanisha P? Everything is not going to happen in one day, okay? Yeah. It takes time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna leave people off. <laughs> I mean, it's coming. Yeah, I'm gonna leave people off with uh, if you if you think you have a twins, you probably got twins. Don't listen to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we give people y'all yeah. social way you can find follow y'all at. Mm -hmm. um, follow me on Instagram at T A N E K E L L Y underscore. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Instagram at T A N E E S H A dot P and underscore N N I underscore N I I. Nini. Baby, I'm going to follow y'all too. I'll give people 24 hours to follow back. Then I just unfollow. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah, we going. know. <laughs> but no, right. uh, yeah, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Shout out to everybody. Episode 141. Yeah. Tane Kelly, Tanisha P, Nini and this motherfucker, man. Okay. Best yeah. podcast in the city, Voice of Detroit. Woo. We out. We out. We Thanks out. Thanks for having us. Hey, thank peace, you for having peace. us. Peace. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. know what it is. <laughs>